Warning, this podcast may change the way you think about business, entrepreneurship, and money forever. The Conquistador Podcast was created for dreamers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who want to conquer their future. future, future. To be an epic entrepreneur, you must adopt the right mental paradigms as well as master the art of selling, marketing, and finance. Now, it's time to welcome two serial entrepreneurs, leaders, husbands, and fathers who are passionate about sharing the strategies that are helping them excel in life and in business. Here are Mauricio Garcia and Hubert Humphrey. You cannot become who you want to be by being who you are today unless you change something. And that's what we're going to talk about today uh, in our show. So welcome, everybody. Excited, uh, as always, uh, to come live here on this podcast. And as always, as well, I'm joined by my friend, my mentor, the legendary Hubert Humphrey. Hubert, how are you today, sir? I'm doing wonderful today. Excited to be here and on the podcast and let's talk to these people about how they can go out there and build a great future. Yeah, you know, I remember back in the day when I first got started in the uh, in the uh, financial services industry, I had these big dreams, right? I always talk about how I was at the factory assembling batteries and how frustrated I was. And as I started making little changes, I got a lot of criticism uh, friends were kind of laughing at me because now I was wearing a suit or I was wearing a tie, just trying to trying to better myself, right? But I was um, I was still this shy, limited belief, uh, bad habits type of person, and so I didn't know that I could not become who I wanted to be unless I kill myself in the process. In other words, become a you know have new type of friends, uh, uh, adapt new habits. Uh, 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 become instead of a shy person, an extroverted person, a limited belief uh, to a to a dreamer, and so it's, it's interesting that uh, I heard you in many of the training sessions that you do for us uh, in the company that we are together. Is that you talk a lot about you know like stories like the uh, the, the IBM founder? I, I wanted to see if we can elaborate on that because I I, I think that uh, a lot of people are probably like I was back in the day trying to achieve great things but aren't willing to make those changes, like become a, a different person. Well, yeah, well, th that's a great story. You know, he, he gives you a great picture of, of how important vision is. You know, there's there's a scripture that says uh, where there's no vision, the people perish. So you've got to have vision, and, 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 and most people don't really get going or don't know where they're going because they don't, they're not, they don't look into the future. You mentioned a while ago, you know, you, you, you got to go. You got to get out of your out of the where you're at now and be able to see the future to go to go get it. You know, because if you keep doing what you've been doing the last one year, two years, five years, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. Pretty simple. But uh, Ray Kroc, uh, or excuse me, Thomas Watson. Let, let me just let me just read a quote or two here because I don't I don't want to miss his words. And then we'll come back and talk about him just a little bit here. You know, Th Thomas Watson when he was asked. When he was asked what did he attribute the phenomenal success of IBM to, this is what he said. He said, IBM is what it is today for three special reasons. The first reason is that at the very beginning, uh, I had a very clear picture of what the company would look like when it was finally done. You got that? He had a very clear picture of what it would look like when it was done. He said, you might say I had a model in my mind of what it would look like when the dream, his vision, was was in place. So that's the first thing, guys. The first thing is you've got to be able to have begin with it, begin with the end in mind, and be able to be able to go out there and 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 start to construct your life and your business and all the things you got to do day by day, brick upon brick. Uh, you know, here a little, there a little, and you and you keep compounding until it gets. But it's with a purpose. You have you have a you have a purpose to what you're doing. There's, there's, a, there's not. You're not just aimlessly going around. The second thing he said, the second reason was that once I had that picture, I then asked myself how a company, uh, a, a, a company which, uh, which looked like that, would have to act. He said, in other words, he created a picture of how 
th that company that he could see how it would actually act when it was done. So, he, he, so he's got the first two things. One, he's got a picture of what it would look like when he's done. Then he's got a picture of what it would ha how it would act. He could see how it how that company had to act once it got to be that size. And then the third thing was the third reason IBM has been so successful that once I had a picture of how IBM would look when the dream was in place and how such a company would have to act, I then realized that unless we began to act that way from the very beginning, we would never get there. So he, he, you had to start from the very beginning acting as if you already were that company that looked this way and acted this way. And uh, it's, it's very simple, but if you, if you could take that philosophy into your life and into your business, boy, it would really help you. You know, and, and, and he, he goes on to say a couple other things here as he, as he ends it. He said, in other words, I realized that for IBM to become a great company, it would have to act like a great company long before it became one. And then he said, from the very outset, IBM was fashioned after the template of, of my vision. You need to have a template of your a vision of what you want all this to look like. And, and each and every day, we attempted to model the company after that template. So in other words, your template is in your mind, and then you model your actions of building the company after that template that you see in your mind. At the end of each day, this is very important here, he said, at the end of each day, we ask ourselves how well we did, discovered the disparity between where we were and where we had committed to be. And at the start of the following day, uh, we set out to make up the difference. In other words, he didn't just sort of wipe it off and just say, well, we didn't do that today, we didn't do that today. Let's just skip all that. You never skipped anything. If there was a disparity, you've, you've got to pay. Success is a tough boss. You've got to go pay. You've got to make it up. And so you don't want to get too far behind because then you get overwhelmed by all your disparities. But if you do it a little bit at a time, consistently, it'll work. Then he said, this is probably the most profound thing in the whole deal. Every day at IBM was a day devoted to business development, not doing business. He was in the business of building a business not just doing business, not selling product only. You know, we didn't do business at IBM. We built one. I love his mentality. Well, and, let, uh, let's, so, so, let's, so, so, we, we, we can kind of play off that we, a little we, bit. We, we are, but, and uh, because there's, there's a lot there. Uh, let's begin with the clear picture, the, the first thing, because I, I believe sometimes we, when we want to be uh, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, maybe many times we're chasing the wrong thing. It's like just out of desperation, I want to make more money, you know, looking more into the materialistic thing and not really visualizing the, the big service, the big solution that we are providing to the problem. So let's, how do we create that clear picture, not just of, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur because I want to drive a Ferrari, live in a mansion, have $100 million in the bank. That's probably not the picture that we need to paint as we are going out as an entrepreneur. Well, you know, those, those, are, you know, those are nice pictures and probably will motivate you for a short period of time, but it won't get you there. You, you, you've got to, it's like I can dream about going to the moon. I can dream about being an astronaut. I can dream about all that stuff. But if I don't want to go and get some astronaut training every day over a period of time, and if we don't build a space uh, rocket ship that will go to the moon and get it set up, get ready, and then get me to get in that rocket ship at the right time, I'm prepared, the rocket ship's prepared, and we blast off, and then we got that's just to get us going. Then I've got all the work that's got to be done between here and the moon. So, it's, 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 but it, is it is it is it as far as painting the the, the picture? Because sometimes I look at businesses; they begin with a certain model in mind. Like you know, we could mention many many different names. The companies that started out as something, they had a certain picture in mind. They started out as something, but you know, five years down the line, they're a complete different company. That in the beginning. The founders didn't even think it was going to be uh, that necessarily. You know what I mean? And so uh, if we're talking about how important it is to clear, uh, have a clear picture, you know, many people have probably heard and they probably have done these boards where they, m many of these exercises that I see people do is like uh, a dream boards, which I, I love them. I think they're great to, to visualize what you want and, and we could talk on whether or not the law of attraction works and all this. But I think here when it comes to the clear picture, 
and as you've said in the past, you know, to 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 build something really big and to uh, really start a company that is going to impact the world, it's got to be aimed at solving a big problem, right? You have this solution. And so painting that picture for you, building the largest financial services companies or distribution channels ever built in the world in history, what picture, like how did you get that clear picture in your mind? And did it start that way? It's, it's, I want to elaborate more. Well, the first part of what you said is that how companies change. And that's that's fine. There's constancy amidst change, as I've said before. So you have a vision as far as you can see, and you go after that vision and how to build it and how to, how to get it to that level. And as you get closer to that, then all of a sudden you're in a position now from a much higher level to have a new vision. And then you, and you, and you add a whole new layer on it of what you want to adjust the company to or add to the company. And you go after that vision. You're not changing companies or changing what you're doing. You're just you're just having a new vision. And and you to be honest with you, in this world today, companies have to constantly reinvent themselves. They have to constantly get better at what they do. Some of their things are constant all the way, but a lot of things change as they go. And so when I started in business, uh, I you know I I had a goal of what I thought I wanted. I wanted to. Be, I, I, I just knew even before I found the, this financial services and and the, and the little company that I started with in the beginning with Art Williams, uh, I, I just I was just hoping that I could find something that could get me away from the railroad. My, I didn't have these fantastic dreams. I just had a dream of I'd like to make X amount of dollars and replace that railroad income and, and get me free. Uh, I wanted to get out of jail free card. I wanted to be able to go and be a, be in business for myself somehow. And so I, when I found when I found this business opportunity. I started and quickly in 90 days, within 90 days of me starting, I had already equaled my, my old railroad income and I quit the railroad. So I accomplished that in 90 days. Now, if I just stopped right there, we wouldn't be on the phone. We wouldn't be talking today. OK, but but I dreamed a bigger dream. I, I had a bigger vision. I said, well, golly, gee whiz. I, I heard Art say that he wanted to help us make one hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, I never dreamed that. Well, well all of a sudden I went after one hundred thousand. And I said, what have I got to do? How, how many recruits have I got to have? How many agents have I got to train? How many sales have got to be made? Blah, blah, blah. So, so that's what I did. And then I, when I got to that level, by that time, I said, well, gee, I think I see how I can make a million. And, and, and you know, we moved out and expanded that way. And so I kept going to bigger and bigger and bigger. So, it's, so, so it's okay it's that, to have a list to start, even if the dream or that, that clear picture is not like the final product, because you say, you know, begin with the end in mind. Well, that end in mind could just be, I need a second source of income. That's the end of mind. It doesn't have to be that big. And just kind of right. build on top of it's, that. It's, it's they, the end. There's a dream bigger it, every begin, time as, as you advance. Yeah, be, begin, begin with the end of that first phase that you're in in mind and go after it. And then, then as you, don't wait till it's too late, but somewhere along the line, you should be able to see, should be able to see a little bit bigger. And, you, and you, now you go after it with a new end in mind. And then you go after it with a new end. And that's all it is. It's just a series of, of uh, dreaming, and compound dreaming, the magic of compound dreaming and, and, uh, and, and going forward, you know, and that's, that, that, that's, yeah. the, that's the key. It, it, bring, it brings a phrase up uh, that I've heard you say many times is that, you know, uh, knowledge doesn't create activity, but activity creates knowledge in a way that as you, as you even if that, that initial picture, that clear picture you have is probably not the final, final uh, a product of that big, you know, big, big vision is that that because activity creates knowledge and expands the vision, like you say, you get on a, on a higher uh, step that allows you to see further. Because obviously, if, if anybody researches what you've done in the past, they're going to find that, uh, like we said before, you've built just the, the biggest uh, financial services distribution channel ever in history. And so what I wanted to get from you is that that clear picture in your mind was not the beginning. And you share some of that in the beginning. You were just kind of getting, finding that uh, 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 get out of jail free card, getting out of the railroad, and then everything else. That, that, that picture became clearer and clearer and bigger and bigger as you uh, took auction, uh, action and, and, and got further and further away from uh, maybe the nightmare of the railroad. I don't, know if, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you know, well, going away from the well, nightmare into the dream. Well, that's right. And, and, and and because we're human beings, it, uh, you know, none of it's going to be perfect all the way. We're going to be as we're going to strive for perfection and do the very best we can. And I know one thing: I was fortunate enough to have come across 
this uh, system that uh, that uh, uh, a marketing system that that I had seen and perfected two or three years practicing it in another place didn't make much money out of it, but the system was right, and I was able to interject this system early in that stage. And even when I was making that first three or four months where I was replacing the railroad income, I was starting to follow that system. So I I continued to dream bigger dreams with more confidence that this system was going to was going to allow me to get bigger. It was just for me to compound my efforts and to be able to to multiply my efforts through other people. And I was in the friendship borrowing system, the relationship linking up system is all it really was. And just keep compounding and building a distribution team. So the system, no matter what dream I've, I've dreamed, even the dream of starting a whole new company, my third new company here that we're involved in, uh, Hedgeman Group International, the same system was a, was a vehicle. It was just going to take me to a much bigger yeah. place than I'd ever been before. So, so if you got if you got if you got a if you got a, a good track to run on, uh, you just got to keep dreaming the bigger dreams, and it will keep. It has an upward of mobility. It's open ended as to how big you can be in life if you can get yourself focused, systematized in what you're doing, and just and just understand understand that you're going to get distracted. Sometimes you're going to get satis- pre- prematurely satisfied. Sometimes you're going to get knocked totally off course. But don't give up. Come back. Get yourself back re-railed on that system and, and, and go back after it again. Don't let anybody steal your dream. Don't let any situation keep you from your, your destiny. That's why it's so good to be able to see the end in mind. It's always, you're always reminding yourself of what that end is. It, it, makes, do, it makes all the effort you got to put out worth it. Interesting. Would you say, did you ever do a dream board? Just to close on this uh, uh, clear picture subject. Did you ever made... A, uh, one, of these, one of these picture boards, and uh, do you believe in them? Would you recommend people to, to play with that? You need to have an image of something. Now, what you got to do is you got to take that and somehow wrap your own self, your own thoughts around it, your own dreams around it, and picture yourself in that car, picture yourself in that home. In fact, I'd photo this day and age, you can photo, Photoshop, Photoshop that thing. Photoshop it to where, uh, where you put yourself in any kind of picture. That's what you got to do. The key is not the thing; it's you in it, you having it, you achieving it, you living it, and uh, you've got to see that. And most of that's gonna. I, the dream boards. Uh, I, I I I probably have had some sort of a dream board because I'm always having pictures and images and all that I'm using to to, to sure. motivate myself and to motivate the team. So it's it's my own version of a. Of a, of a of a dream board but no you, you know the, the real dream hey the one the, Risha, the real dream board is the mural in your mind that you're you're you are a great artist and you get you you get you got the you got the ability to paint a great picture on a mural like if you're in a big museum in washington dc and you got these giant murals on these yep. walls with of the of, of the of, of, of wars and 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 the founding fathers you can paint but this time you can paint yourself in that picture You, you, you get to be the artist. You get to be the architect of your own life. And, uh, and, and, and that's a great empowering feeling when you've got it. So, so what, if you, to me, if, 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 if some, the more you can believe that something could really happen, the more you'll, the more energy you'll put into that dream, the more you'll really say, I really believe I can get that. Now you, to just casually dream or like to have something, wish you could have something, I pray I could have something. That's uh that's not enough. You've got to you've got to get your belief over to a to 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 a, to a, a sure knowledge of it, to a, a commitment uh, to 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 go do what you got to yeah. do to get it. Because you dream, dream dr- hey dreams uh, dreams without any action are are, are going to lead to disappointments. Is what's okay. Happen. And what I've learned is that obviously sometimes as good as your dream board can be, which is all nice and beautiful, and it's going to get you motivated and go. I found myself hitting the wall or against the wall over and over again because I never made a change, a habit uh, 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 board, a, a change your, your friends board, uh, go act on uh, things. So what I'm trying to say, the second point that Thomas Watson uh, at IBM you know, had as philosophy, which is act as if, like act as if, We're not, I'm, not, I'm sure we're not saying fake it till you make it, like go and pretend to be somebody you are not. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with uh, you know, the idea of acting as if you 
are a different person. You're kind of like getting into this character who, who, of who you're going to be. Not, not necessarily go buy things you can't afford and try to portray a, a lifestyle that you currently can't afford and somebody that you're not. Um, and I could, could be wrong with that, but, but what I'm trying to say is that how can you act as if if you don't know how to do that, I think the only way to go about it is, you know, kind of pretend yourself being the actor and go and see what would what would that person I want to become, you know, would, would have to be. Because you cannot, I stand by the fact that you cannot be who you are maybe wanting to be right now unless you become a complete different person. Like, I could not be here talking to you if I hadn't become a complete different person. Even though people will say, don't change, Mauricio, you're good, as we like you like you are. And I think there's, there's a lot of misunderstanding as far as, you know, not, not forgetting where you come from and changing many of the things that are holding you back. Like, and it's, you know, talk to the act now or act as if. Well, that act as if is a very positive thing. If you, keep, if you keep acting as if you're the same person you are right now in, in life and income and all this stuff, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to be able to see yourself as, as the kind of person that can have this new dream. You know, you, 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 if, you, if, you, if you want to dream a bigger dream and you, that you really want, then you have to change. You have to grow to, to, make, to make that happen and and uh, so that, that, that's the key. That's so that means leaving friends. Does that mean because it? as that, as if if you really have this big of a dream, that means you have to, you, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to a, a sacrifice. Uh, sometimes uh, leave friends behind, and people see sometimes see that wrong well, or uh, criticize. And well, I think there's know, misunderstanding in, in, in there because, uh, you know. Oh yeah, in in, in, in thinking in, in thinking grow rich. It, he, uh, Napoleon Hill teaches all the secrets of these great leaders he had interviewed over the over that time and he and the common traits and one of them was that they had a they had a closed mind against negativity you know was whether it was whether it was family friends co-workers whatever they 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 close their mind off to the negative things that people might uh, put put at them to keep themselves protected where they could go forward one thing that i'll say about this whole situation is that we can you can dream all you want uh, but you got to have a. You got to do something about. It. You got to fuel that desire. Your desire has got to really grow because that's what's going to make you change. It's hard to change, but once. But if you do it, and the other thing is that you you there there are there are ways that you can put make the odds in your favor. I I knew that I if if I wanted to be somebody like I wanted to be, I could I could leave the railroad and maybe go out and get another try to get another job. I could maybe try to. Start a little business, but the odds were against me. Ninety-five percent of them are going to fail. But luckily, I found one that gave me the the the, great, the highest odds to, to, that I could that I could succeed. It was uh, something that, that I that works for so would work for me, and I've seen it work for thousands of people. If is to be able to use it, use a system inside a a, a a a a recruiting and building of teams type of business that, that that you can do. It may not be everybody may not want to try to do that, but I know one thing. You, the, you, you quickly in your pursuit of a dream, you had better get in the right vehicle quickly, and start to be start do all your building and your work and all your changing in the right vehicle because you can do all that changing and if you're in the wrong vehicle, you're still not going to get. So so you true, be. so true. So, you know, um, as you probably have heard, um, you know, I'm originally from Mexico, right? And everybody uh, would probably agree that. A new immigrants, new Americans, uh, like 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 Mexicans, like Hispanics, we are the hardest working people in this country. We do the toughest jobs, right? We do the toughest jobs, but yet um, we don't climb the ladder in, in wealth creation. That doesn't mean that just because you work hard or you do the hardest jobs means that you're advancing. It's just the right, the wrong vehicle. And I know that's a whole different subject, but I wanted to speak to the to you know to kind of. Uh, I recognize what you're saying, and you know, and also let people know that yeah, you've got to have an, be in the right vehicle, and at the same time, the fact that you're going to have to adapt this new paradigm, you have to become, you have to uh, uh, have these new beliefs, uh, uh, create new habits, leave old ones. Whether you like it or not, people that are not in that that are not in that in that uh, frequency are going to be out of your life. You're still gonna. 
you know, maybe uh, frequent them, but they're, they're not going to be around in the way that they are right now because you'll just be moving in a, in a different frequency to act as if, you got to act as if, be that leader, be that, um, that, that hard worker, be that person who needs to, to evolve in order to accomplish that whatever vision board that you're putting together exclusively or especially if it's filled with a lot of material things. There's, there's a lot of things that have to happen beneath or in the foundation uh, in, in action and in belief and in paradigms in order to achieve what that uh, vision board that, uh, that you, you, you may be able to do. And I, uh, it, it goes hand in glove, I guess, you know. So, yeah. well, you know, the, it just just sort of to kind of wrap wrap up what I want to say about it. Everybody, everybody is it's easy to, to to go out and want the big thing, want the big a dream, but very few people will want to do the, the hard work that they've got to do, the effort they've got to put out to make the changes and to build the business to get there. That's why there's so few people achieve greatness in sports or in movies or literature or in any endeavor is that everybody, it's like that old seven, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Well, you, 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 you've got, you, you, you've got to, you've got to be willing to, you've got to, you've got to want, you got to learn to want to do all those things that you got to do that will get there as bad as you actually want the actual thing you're pursuing. And if you get those two in sync, You'll get you'll get there some way somehow, but but if but if your desire level is only to for the end game and not for the doing the steps in between, you, you're going. Now, to have as to we start. really wrap up for the day, it's we're running out of time. But there is one another point that I think is extremely important. We should not leave it off this podcast, which is the, uh, you know, uh, don't don't at, at 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 IBM you said we don't uh do business we build one and i think many people that go in business uh get so bogged down in doing business instead of creating a business if you could summarize a, a good uh, recommendation a suggestion a comment around that because there's probably millions and millions of people right now who are starting businesses are trying to make them grow but they're you know so busy doing business that they they're, they're not focused on the main thing, which is building one, creating one. And it took me a long time to figure that out. Well, there's a lot of little things you have to do. One is to, the more you can get your life systematized, the system can save you from yourself, and it can cause you to do the, the things in, a, in an orderly, sequential way, often enough, long enough uh, for your efforts to compound. And that's what, that's what getting systematized will help you to do. It's a new, form, new set of habits. That, uh, that you got to develop that you were talking about a while ago. So that that's 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 one thing that you, you that you've got to go do. And of course, the, of course, the other thing is that is that you you've got to you you've got to be able to uh, to to stay to just stay focused. Learn how to focus because ultimately, it's uh, I like to tell people there's no hocus pocus, just focus. And 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 you've got to have something that can keep you. And if you can get involved with somebody that can mentor you. Trying to be successful, one of the number one killers, besides lack of money, lack of experience, and all that kind of stuff, one of the number one killers for most people failing in business or not really succeeding in business or making their dreams come true in business is loneliness. They don't have mentors. They don't have somebody to to be there to help them, to coach them. Like uh, like uh, Andrew Carnegie had his great mastermind alliance. I've always used a mastermind principle. I try to copy what Carnegie said. You know, if I, if I, and some of these people are, are dead. So some of them from way in history. But I can do through, through books and, and study. And then you speak I've got to dead people. people that I have you speak to dead people still. I speak to dead people. I really yeah. do. You know, and I have a fascination with dead presidents too, by the way. <laughs> That's, that's great. That's a, well, listen, that, that is why I am very excited uh, for the Conquer event because these are the principles that aren't really taught out there. You know, there's so much different content and a lot of people obviously consuming so many, different, so many different things out there. And I'm yet to hear somebody that really goes down deep into some of these fundamental, the principles, the basis that can really change the paradigm and help uh, uh, build businesses. So, you know, there is, um, as we wrap it up, there is a uh, Conquer event that is coming up in March. Uh, and so we'll leave a uh, on the link so you can go in there and find out. We're going to have some amazing speakers, and it's just going to be 
uh, an epic event that you do not want to miss. Uh, that'll be, I think, March 26 and 27 is coming, is coming up. So go there uh, and register for that virtual, virtual event. And also, I want to uh, make sure that we thank our sponsor. Hegemon Group International is a company that is in business of helping other people learn a skill that is, gravitates around helping others solve their most common financial problems. And so if you are looking for that one thing that can really help you elevate your value in the marketplace and solve real problems for real people, well, you should check out the uh, HGI Opportunity by going to hgiopportunity.com. That is hgiopportunity.com. And that is going to be the opportunity that can take you from where you are today to where you want to go financially. And, of course, that solves many, many other things. Hubert, it was an awesome uh, episode today. Really excited for it and for everything else that uh, we, we got in, 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 uh, you know, coming for, for the people. Well, hey, well, it's great. Like my, like my great mentor, Art Williams, told me many, many years ago, just do it. And the key is, what is that it? Do all those little things that equal it. Do it and just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Sometimes you got to stumble forward, stay confused. But I know all these people out there, if they want it bad enough, uh, this is this is a great country. We got free enterprise system, and they can make all their dreams. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go stumble forward and stay confused. Till next time. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Warning: This podcast may change the way you think about business, entrepreneurship, and money forever. The Conquistador Podcast was created for dreamers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who want to conquer their future. 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 To be an epic entrepreneur, you must adopt the right mental paradigms as well as master the art of selling, marketing, and finance.